My name's Nicola, I'm a breastfeeding peer supporter with families and babies in Lancashire. Um, I'm going to do today a little demonstration which is usually part of our antenatal classes um, and it's just a good visual demonstration of um, what our breast milk contains and how our breast milk changes during the course of a feed. So we're going to start off by thinking what might be in our breast milk. Most of you probably, if I ask the question, will be saying um, things like water, that's um, a big component of our breast milk. So this is going to be my bowl, I'm going to make us some, some breast milk. So we know that our breast milk is about 70% water, so we'll put a good pint of water in there. Um, another big component of our breast milk is fats. So our breast milk it contains lots of essential fatty acids um, and they're vital for our baby's brain growth and development, so really, really important. So we'll glug some oil in there. Plenty of fats in there. The next thing I'm going to add is some sugar. So our um, breast milk contains carbohydrates and sugars. The carbohydrate in our breast milk is called lactose <clears throat> and that makes our breast milk taste very sweet. So I'm going to pop some sugar in there. Okay. The next thing I'm going to add is some protein. So that's represented by some food colouring. So drop some, some protein in there. So our breast milk is quite low in protein <clears throat> and that helps to protect baby's kidneys um, which, can, um, which can struggle to process higher quantities of protein. So our, our, bre our breast milk is, is sort of just balanced with the right amount of protein that baby needs without overwhelming their kidneys. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to add is some vitamin. So our breast milk contains lots of different vitamins um, and these come in a form that's like readily available and easy for baby to digest. The same applies to the minerals. So the minerals is represented by the salt. So our breast milk contains all of those minerals that baby needs for their growth and development. Um, and again, all readily um, available and, and digestible for absorbable to, for baby. Our breast milk contains some growth factor. So I've got in here some um, plant food. So in our plant food goes. So the growth factor in our breast milk helps baby's guts to mature and um, helps to protect them from gastroenteritis and things like that. So really, really important. We also know our breast milk is really important for keeping our babies safe from infection. So this is um, representing the antibodies in our breast milk. The antibodies in our breast milk actually increase over time um, become more targeted and very specific so that if there's a particular um, virus or bacteria that I was fighting off or baby was fighting off my breast milk would adapt and help baby to fight that infection off and the last thing I'm going to add is some edible glitter and our glitter represents um, the enzymes and hormones in our breast milk and all of those um, things go into baby via our milk and help baby's body to regulate itself so those are all of the different ingredients in breast milk. I'm just going to give them a little stir together. And there we have our breast milk. Okay, so I've put my gloves on for this bit because this bit could be a little bit messy. We've got our breast milk here in the bowl that I've already prepared. I'm just going to soak it up into the sponge and then I'm going to use these three glasses here to demonstrate what happens to the content of the breast milk as the feed progresses. So this, this glass is going to represent the beginning of the feed, the middle of the feed and the end of the feed. So at the start of the feed, the milk's flowing quickly, baby will be doing lots of fast sucks to prompt our let down reflux to happen, getting lots of nice watery milk. As the feed progresses, baby will start to take deeper sucks with pauses in between. And at this point the fat content is getting a little bit greater. Towards the very end of the feed, baby starts to take really deep sucks and there will be longer pauses in between and at this point our breast milk is really fatty and with every suck 
baby's getting that rich fatty calorific milk you can see it's actually getting harder to squeeze from the sponge so you can see why baby does those nice deep sucks to make sure they get all of that fatty milk from the breast tissues so if you take a look at these three glasses now you can see that the beginning of the feed was just that watery thirst quenching milk the second part of the feed you can see the milk starting to get fattier now that it's had time to settle there's a nice little fat layer there but then this end part of the feed you can see just how much fat there is there in that milk and that just really demonstrates how important it is that baby gets the chance to take the whole feed so that they get this nice fatty milk from the end of the feed and not just this thirst quenching milk early on some people think of this as like baby having a drink then the dinner and then a pudding so if they get all of that milk that's the entire feed and that's what we want baby to have at every feed um, so this is why it's really important not to limit the time at the breast and to let baby stay on and sometimes when they go into those deep sucks and long pauses and then another deep suck and long pause some people then at that point start to think oh baby's you know finished they don't, they don't really need this bit but this just shows how important those real deep sucks are to getting that really fatty milk from the milk ducts so you can see from the demonstration that we've just done that as the feed progresses the breast milk gets fattier and fattier and that kind of demonstrates why it's really important to follow baby's lead and make sure that they've finished the, the feed before we take them off we don't want to limit the time at the breast if we did do that you can see from the, what was in those glasses that we'd be restricting the amount of that really fatty calorie rich milk that comes towards the end of the feed so we want baby to stay on the breast until they show us that they've done by coming off the breast themselves Every baby is different, some babies feed for a short time but really efficiently and other babies do take the time a little bit more. Um, we say as a rule of thumb an average feed is usually between about 10 and 30 minutes. You might be concerned, for example in really warm weather, that baby needs more of a drink um, and, and people might tell you that babies need water and to keep them hydrated and things like that. Um, we know that our breast milk is enough, it's all they need for the full first six months of their life. In warm weather we will produce more of that water and milk to make sure that they get enough hydration baby will ask to go on the breast more often we can offer the breast more often and um, so baby will get what they need when they need it i hope you've enjoyed the demonstration and i hope it's helped for you to visualize exactly what's going into your breast milk and exactly what is coming out and how that's changing through the course of the feed if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video or you have any questions regarding breastfeeding um, whether antenatally or postnatally do give us a call our helpline is open from 9 30 till 2 30 every day on 01254 77 2929 we also have our facebook support groups if you search for fab Lanks, you'll find us on facebook i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope it's been useful and um, thank you for watching